First, it was schools, then businesses, now churches are fighting the flu. New at 5, 2 News reporter Brandon Richard shows us some of the changes taking place. Amid majestic hymns and peaceful prayers comes a case of constant coughs. <coughs> Moments later, Father Brian Brooks delivered a message to parishioners at Church of the Madeline in Tulsa. Because of the outbreak of the flu, this Sunday, probably for the next couple of weekends, we're going to suspend giving out communion in the form of wine. Father Brooks also announced a practice known as the sign of peace, normally delivered in the form of a handshake or embrace, was optional, at least temporarily. People, if they still want to exchange a sign of peace by shaking hands, that's fine. But if they want to refrain from that, that's all right. And the precautionary measures just aren't for local churches. The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops has also come out with its own recommendations. Altering tradition to lower risk of a flu outbreak is nothing new. This parish did a similar thing during the swine flu outbreak a couple of years ago. I think it's a good idea. Leslie Segovia feels the same way. I think it's always a good thing, sure, to give families the option to know that they don't have to um, participate because of the concern of the flu. While she didn't change her behavior, she noticed others who did. I offered my hand. Um, there were some that extended and some that did not. It, but it certainly didn't offend me. I completely understand. We've had a number of families that have had uh, outbreaks of flu uh, or also students in, in different schools. So I think they appreciate the, what we're going to do for the next few weeks. A few weeks of change, then they hope it's back to business as usual. Reporting in Midtown Tulsa, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. The Diocese of Tulsa left it up to each individual parish to determine if they want to temporarily change the way they handle communion. Coming up in less than five minutes, we're talking to an ER doctor to separate facts from myths when it comes to the flu.